taxi driver Alison Diallo always has his radio switched on. When it's 8.45, he turns the volume up a notch, no matter who is sitting in the back. On the radio is Mariam Fai from Vibe Radio, a Senegalese comedian who for five minutes a day makes the entire country giggle. She comments on the news through a character she created named Modu Modu, a migrant who has returned home with a fresh perspective on her home country. She pokes fun at everyone, politicians as well as regular people. With comedy, she says out loud what people think things that would never be published in the newspaper. In the studio, Modou Modou speaks with a thick French accent, mocking the former colonial power France and the French. She describes her character as white on the inside, but black on the outside. It's Valentine's Day, and she's challenging the way men court women, paying for dinner in exchange for love or more. She goes further, criticizing polygamy, which is common in Senegal. She says the practice has nothing to do with religion, all with good humor, of course. It's an uncomfortable conversation on love, sex and religion that has the studio and listeners outside in hysterics. Comedy is a window to communication. It's a good way to touch people without offending them. We talk about serious topics, but I make them laugh. And when they laugh, they have an opportunity to reflect on serious issues. More than a laugh, radio satire is an art form, popular throughout the continent. Rich or poor, literate or not, radio is accessible to almost everyone worldwide, according to the UN. People use their cell phones to listen to their shows, to keep informed and to laugh. <laughs> this is part of a long-standing tradition of using comedy to resolve conflicts and to release tensions. It's gained momentum through radio and it's unlikely to disappear anytime soon. Long after the show is over, something about Miriam's words struck Jallo and got him thinking. A brief moment of silence before he switches the radio back on. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Descartes.